Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this tutorial on the change of user application process on the AdDistasa platform. Land user or land use is commonly defined as a series of operations on land carried out by humans with the intention to obtain products and or benefits through using resources on said land. For instance, a residential user, a commercial user, an industrial user or an agricultural user. A change of user is therefore an application to change the initial or existing user to a proposed new user, one which must be harmonious with the surrounding neighborhood and according to the plan within the area as directed by the planning authority. This particular application can be initiated by the proprietor or a registered fiscal planner. To begin with, you log into the platform, key in your AdSasa ID or national ID number, enter your password and then click continue. Upon doing so, You'll be provided with a one-time password code, an OTP, which will be sent to the phone number you used to register with on the platform. Once you have received the OTP, type the code onto the OTP prompt box and then click Log In. You'll then be navigated to the dashboard, where you'll find a number of services listed under the departments we have in the Ministry of Lands and Physical Planning. The process we are undertaking is under Land Administration Department, so navigate to the Land Administration section and click on View More, Click on Development Control and you'll find the application listed under the services offered in this department. Upon clicking on it, you'll be navigated to the Applications page and here, there are a number of tabs provided. We have five tabs namely, Pending, Ongoing, Completed, Cancelled and Rejected. All the applications that you have initiated will be listed among the tabs provided depending on the level of your application. The pending tab is for the application that you have initiated but have not completed, it or they still need some action from your side or from the parties involved in the application. The ongoing tab features applications which you have submitted but it's up to the ministry side through the relevant officials to process the application. The completed tab is for applications which have been approved by the relevant ministry officials. The cancel tab is for applications which have been cancelled by the different parties involved in the application process. The Rejected tab is for applications that have been rejected by the Ministry officials for one reason or another. The reasons will be communicated to you on the application. For you to initiate this application, you will click on the New Application tab on the top right hand corner. You will then be navigated to a page with the FAQs, which is the Frequently Asked Questions related to this process. You can go ahead and explore the FAQs to acquire knowledge on certain details that might be of interest to you before initiating the application. When you are satisfied with the FAQs, you can proceed and click Next. The next section is the application details. Here, you will first be required to select the development control application that you intend to initiate. Change of user is the default application and thus you might as well skip this field. You will also be required to select the new use that you intend to change your land to. You will then be required to describe the status of the land in question, that is the developments that exist on the parcel of land or lack thereof. The next field requires you to input the current parcel number, so kindly do so in the format registry, forward slash block, and then the block number, forward slash the parcel number. You'll enter the reference number as is captured on the Plupa DC17 form, previously the PPA2 form, which is a document denoting the respective county's approval for the development control process that you are initiating on the system. You'll also be required to select the date of issuance of the affirmation document. If you have any additional information that might be of relevance to this application, you are at liberty to input said information in the text box provided at the bottom. Please note that you need to input the information required in the fields with an asterisk sign alongside them, failure to which you will not be able to submit your application. If you are satisfied with the details that you have provided in this section, you can go ahead and click on Next. You'll be navigated to the Attach Files section where you'll be required to attach the required documents needed to process this application. It is in your best interest to have all the documents saved in one exclusive folder on your machine so as to upload them easily. If you have any other documents which you feel will be relevant to the processing of your application, you can click on Additional Documents, type in the name of the document, upload the document by clicking on the Choose File button, 
and that document will be listed alongside the choose file button. If you are content with the details that you have provided in this section, you can go ahead and click on next. The last section is the verify details section with all the details that you have provided. So scroll through the entire page and confirm the details. If satisfied with the information captured, you can go ahead and submit your application. You also have the option of going back if you need to edit any information. In our case, we'll proceed and click on submit. Upon doing so, you'll be prompted to approve on whether you indeed want to submit the request and then proceed and click on yes. You'll then get a confirmation message on a pop-up box to affirm that the application has been created successfully and then click on close. The application details will appear, displaying the reference number, the progress level of your application, the status of the application, which in this case is ongoing, the status on verification by the property owner, as well as the general application details. We also have the cancel application button, which will allow you to do away with the application entirely at your own discretion. In the verification section, the owner of the property will need to verify the application. Assuming you are the proprietor, you'll click on the get OTP button, an OTP code will be sent to the phone number and email address that you provided during registration. You'll then type in the exact code onto the box provided and click the verify button. A pop-up box will appear affirming that the OTP has been successfully verified and then click on close. Upon doing so, the submit request button on the top right hand corner will be active and you can go ahead and click on it in order to see out your role in this process. You'll be prompted to affirm whether you want to submit this request and then click on yes. Another pop-up notification will appear, confirming the successful submission of the application, and then click on close. You'll find your application in the ongoing tab of your applications page, and upon clicking on view, you'll notice that the progress level of your application has shifted. From here on out, the ministry officials involved in this process will work on processing the application, and as they do so, you'll be able to view the progression of your application on the progress bar up until the final approval will be done. At that point, the progress level will be at 100% and you'll also get a notification confirming the same both on SMS as well as on email. It is key to note that once your application has been submitted to the Land Administration Department, an invoice for development control physical planning fee will be generated on your account, which you will duly pay, and you will also be contacted for possible fieldwork if the department determines it to be necessary. Once your application has been approved, an invoice for development control approval fee will be generated. You will navigate to the invoice tab and pay, and an approval letter will be generated and you will be able to access it through the documents tab under process documents. To download the approval letter, navigate to your application, click on the Documents tab under Process Documents, and you'll see the approval letter for viewing and download. That's it on this tutorial on the Change of User application process. Feel free to give feedback on this tutorial in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell button alongside the subscribe button to get notifications on new videos as and when we post them. Thanks for watching and goodbye.